This is a cam grinding setup for miniature engines based on Sherline components including the CNC computer. This is the headstock. You can see the grinding wheel and, and coolant supply and the tailstock. What we're going to make here is a cam for a Jerry Howell V4 engine. His design uses two cams, one for the left bank and one for the right bank. So uh, this one here is already complete and you can sort of get an idea of what the finished product looks like. We're going to do it on the CNC machine. So we're starting off with a just a straight blank. And I'm going to grind everything away we don't need. It's a relatively slow process for a small grinder, but when you think of how complicated it is to make a good cam, it it's a pretty good way of doing it. The you can see the lobes are perfectly straight and it's all sized up. The, and I've got the program loaded in the machine and, and take a look at the program next. First thing I gotta do is load the program which I wrote previously on a Windows program. The uh, that is a complex program that generated the, sh the code to generate the shape of the cam. And uh, that's all been done beforehand, so I'm going to load that program. Okay. I'm going to open the program, switch it to all files. It's the V4 version 2. So I'll open that one, and now I have the program loaded into the editor. Put it in auto so I can load the program. Into the part that runs it. This, the, the lower part here, actually runs the drivers which runs the stepper motors through the computer. Okay, first we get the y-axis here. And the y-axis moves in this direction here which will drive it into the grinding wheel and the grinding wheel is fixed. The x-axis moves it across and this is This here turns it. So I get this at a four to one ratio rather than a, a rotary table. And, and to start things. Ooh, blood. <laughs> I'm going to dress a couple thousands off, off the wheel. Got a diamond mounted on an XY slide here. Okay. So I can move it in about a half a thousandth of an inch. And then move it in. And that trues up the wheel. When you're grinding something, the wheel stays the same diameter. It doesn't, if you're doing it right, it doesn't really break down. And, it, and, it, and a diamond doesn't wear out as it cuts across there. The, these two things are assumed. So the next thing I have to do is get everything in position. 
Okay, the first part I got to do is, is get the grinder set up in relation to the part that I have on there. And the way I'm going to do it is I know what the program does, and the first thing the program does is, is come into a point and, and then start turning. So I'll, I'll, I'll let the program run up to that point, and then I'll, I'll put it on feed hold. I can hit, I'll hit the run button and that'll start it moving. In fact, I can slow it down even if I want. I hit run. And I put feet over. And see it's reading 750, which is the, the heel diameter of the cam. And so it's in a true radius at that position. Knowing that, I can break. Now I can crank the, the part over there into the into the grinding wheel, and I know where I am. Get it? I can line it up on the x-axis and the y-axis. Yeah, the first thing I got to do is I set this at zero. Okay, I got the rotor, rotary axis set at zero. Now I'm cranking the Y axis in. Boy, that light is hot. You can't do any grinding on anything like this unless it's, you have some coolant running on it. Otherwise, the wheel will just burn and, and stop. I've got the camshaft blank mounted between centers, and I set the machine up and have taken a couple of test cuts already. And uh, the, the shape of the cam is beginning to take place. The, the way I do it is I grind a little bit off all the cams at the cast. The wheel is a little bit narrower than the cam, so I have to take two passes to get the cam flat. So you'll see it go down and then grind the next one and the next one. The reason I do it that way is I it allows the cam to cool in between. Even though we are using coolant, they still heat up. So I, I believe it's a more accurate way of doing it. So to get it running, all I gotta do is start it on its next cycle. First I'll move it in. I've been taking 5,000 per pass. 